So this is part two of my finding my mojo process. This is where I'm making the card with what I figured out from first video. Hope you enjoy it. I still like, I like the idea of what I was doing there with the different, with the shapes and then doing something over top, but they're too dark for me. So I think I quite like this color and this one. So this was the green and the yellow. So let's put a little bit more in there. All right, but I think I want circles. Let's put that right beside. I think I'm going to work with just those three colors. That's not the same one. I did a different one. Okay, we're doing four colors. Well, I didn't make enough. See, now that's key. That's a tip there. When you're mixing up your colors, mix up more than you think you're going to need. Because, you know what, it's not always easy to make the same color if you're mixing colors together. You're not always going to get the same shade. I may not get that exact one again. I like how this one dried and it's got the nice dark line around the edge. This one too. Get that. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. Let's do a couple of those. Let's go back in here. So what I'm doing, I want to lighten it more, putting a couple of the drops in. Moving it out because it's water color. It reactivates all the pigment, makes it all wet again, and then dabbing up. How cool is that? I really like the dark lines. So let's go back in here, add some water, make sure it goes out to the edges. See that? Ooh, that's cool. You get that hard line around there. I like that. The brown one. But let's make it really light. Let's try. So as you can tell here, I'm not very good with the straight lines. I mean, this is pretty good. That's not too bad. It's starting to curve off. But then here is a long drop. So I guess I can make these a little bigger just to balance them out a bit. Let's try that.
pull some of this off. This one needs to be lighter. Well, since we're lightening, let's lighten this puppy up. Okay, so I have this stamp set called Painted Poppies by My Favorite Things, and I kind of like the leaves since it's fall. Well, that's pretty good. Well, I should figure out a sentiment. I might use this. It's a My Favorite Things stamp set as well. Do your kindness touched my heart, but do I want it? I think I'm going to do that next so I can work around my stamp. With the wow powders, you don't typically need to add, um, what's this called? The anti static? I can't remember what it's called. You don't typically need to add it, it's already added into the embossing powders. But I've been handling this paper a lot, a lot. so just to be on the safe side, I'm going to. Now, here's a little trick take your Make sure you get it straight. Put it up against a straight edge. So you can see that it's straight when you pick Is this block big enough? So once it's cooled off, just wipe away that extra powder. Okay, so this is going to be my sentiment. It's going to go right across here. Okay, so I'm going to want... Sorry, I talk to myself when I stamp. I think I'm going to move it up here now because I kind of have a gap right here. So I think I'll do that. Okay, so these pieces, when you like the original paper was four and a quarter by five and a half, so it will fit on a front of a card panel, card base. I trimmed this down to three and three quarters to five inches. I layered the panel onto a piece of black cardstock and then brown cardstock, each one about an eighth of an inch bigger in size to frame it up. And with the sentiment, I decided to cut it in two pieces between the kindness and touched, and I'll layer that on the panel using my Gina K Quick Connect glue. That stuff is awesome. So I grabbed that panel from the beginning of the video and used the shiver pen to try it out on there to see what it looked like if I wanted to do it on my card. I decided to add the shimmer pen to the leaves only in the sections that are touching the circles, so not on the whole leaf. I like how that turned out. It picked up a bit of the color from the leaf, from the circle behind it, so it changed the shimmer just a little bit. It's hard to see in the photo, but in real life it's really cool. So this was fun. I really enjoyed not having a plan and just, just creating. 
it's inspired me. I want to get more things out and play with some different products that I haven't played with in a long time with no agenda, just to play. I hope you're encouraged to get your stuff out and play and I'll see you again soon. Bye.